What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another video. We are going to check out the Mercedes SLS AMG Black Series. We'll do a stage 5 shift and tune, stage 6 shift and tune. We'll do a review on the car and all that good stuff. So, let's get to it. Let's start off with the stage 6 shift and tune. Alright, so we got nitrous on 230 and 5.3. We got our final drive on 4.50 and we got our tire pressure on 26 psi with a 52 and a 48 up top that gives us a 12.280 on the dyno to drive this car when it's 100 percent maxed out try and get a perfect starter close to it shortly after you launch shift into second hit your nitrous and then all shifts right before the red line after that three two one go second nitrous third fourth fifth Six gear and I kind of buried the needle a few times so I probably ran a little bit slower than I should have This car is a pain to drive. It's a major pain to drive. I don't like driving it one bit But anyway, what did we get? There was a 12.317 which is not a bad time for a couple crappy shifts If you're lucky enough to get all the shifts and your launch just perfect You'll probably run about a tenth of a second faster than that, but Let's go do a stage 5 shift pattern tune and then we'll get to the review on this thing. So when you have the car set up on stage 5 only with all the fusion parts, nitrous at 165 and 3.0. We're going to put our final drive down to 5.0 and tire pressure on 26 psi with a 52 and a 48 up top. That will give us a dyno of a 13.601. We're pretty much going to drive it the same way. Let go of the gas right around number one. Shortly after shift in the second, hit your nitrous and then all the shifts right before the red line. Three, two, one, go. Second nitrous, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh gear. And that's about all there is to it. Very uh, fast shifting car. And we're going to go do a review on this in just a second. There's definitely not going to be any type of good live racing setup for this. At least not that I can find. So unfortunately, no live racing setup. We did hit 13.684. All right, time to go over the specs and do a little review. So when you have the car maxed out, top speed is about 184 miles per hour. 0 to 60 in like 1.0 something. 0 to 100 in like 2.2 something. And the car is probably going to run about 12.3. It doesn't really beat the dyno. It's not going to be good at live racing. It's not really that fast. It's got low performance points. I mean, it's got low Evo points. There's nothing interesting about this car. I would actually say this is a really, really bad car. It looks very nice, but unfortunately, it is a terrible car. The only reason you might want to upgrade this is if you need the car for some sort of event or something like that. Other than, other than that, just let it set and collect dust if you have it. If you don't 100% need it, you know, don't, uh, don't worry too much about this car. It is not very good. So unfortunately, it's just a terrible car. All right, I think that's going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, check out the thank you button or the join button down below the video. You can check out the video's description for some more ways to help support the channel, plus some links to my Discord server, my uh, other YouTube channels, some really cool stuff you can buy on Amazon. If you buy something off that, I get a commission, which would be sweet. If not, that's okay too. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. You're all amazing. Lighten it up. Have an awesome day. See ya.